Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you how to pull XML maps from XML files into Excel. And from there, how to pull only the selected or desired data from the XML map into your Excel file. So if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com and you can download it there. So let's go ahead and uh, talk about what you need. Here I've got the developer tab and the developer tab is very helpful when dealing with XML. So first of all, let's go ahead and add that to your ribbon. By default, this will not be on your ribbon. So to do that, go to the office button, go to Excel options, the popular tab, then you will see right here, show developer tab in the ribbon. By default, it will be unchecked like that. So simply check it and click OK. Then you get the developer tab. So once you have the developer tab, go to the XML box. Pretty cool, had some box. And what you want to do is click the source button. When you do that, you'll notice this little pane over here opens up. One of the few boxes in Excel 07 we can actually move over the spreadsheet. But anyway, just a side note. Now what you want to do, go down to where it says XML maps right here. You can see the little button click that. This window is going to open up and what you want to do is click the add button. If you have XML maps in the workbook already they will appear right here. But we do not so click add. That's going to allow you to search your computer for um, any XML file uh, who, which you'd like to bring into Excel. So I have found three XML files here. I'm going to go ahead and pull this one in. Just a sample file. Click open. Now you may get a message like this, does not refer to a schema. Excel will create a schema based on the XML source data and that is what we want. So create our schema, click OK. Now you can see it right here. You can change it, you can name it, if you click rename or delete it, select it and delete it right there. But let's click OK. So now what you can see is we've got the name, remember catalog, and then we have all of the columns that we can pull in. Now this is a very basic XML file, but this is pretty much how you do it and how I'm going to show you. If you have a bunch of other maps in the workbook, go down here, you can check them out. So, now what you want to do, let's say we only want to get the author and the title and the price. We don't really want anything else. So let's go ahead and grab this click it once, hold that, and drag it over to wherever you would like it in your Excel workbook. Let's say column A. Now let's drag title over here, column B, and price. Alright, now it automatically formats it as a table. The table format is a new format in Excel 07. It allows you to do lots of filtering and sorting things very quickly and easily. But, the most important thing for us, since it's formatted as a table, is um, this is all, we need to pull in all the external data. And when you click a cell here, you see the design tab for table tools. Go to external table data, this box right here, and click refresh. When you do that, it's going to automatically reference the XML file and pull in all of the data related to these three columns. If you want to change anything related to this external data source, click Properties right here. And you can change a few things. But anyway, that's pretty much um, it in terms of how you can very quickly pull in an XML file and only display parts of that XML file within Excel. Now, whenever the file updates, you can simply click Refresh up here and it's going to pull in the new data. Now, since this is formatted as a table, we can do lots of cool sorting and filtering things right here. For instance, we could go ahead and sort by price, sort for largest to smallest, and we get the price sorted. But I cover that in different tutorials. So that's pretty much it for how you can pull um, the XML data into Excel, selected data. Now if you'd like to pull just the entire XML file into Excel, that is in the previous data analysis tutorial, data analysis in Excel 7. You can check that out if you would like. Now remember, you need to have the developer tab. 
and I'm going to show you once more really quick how to add that if you don't already have it. So to add the developer tab, the office button, Excel options, the popular tab, show developer tab in the ribbon. Once you've got that, simply click the source button. This pane right here will open up. Now that may annoy you that I repeated that, but I hate it when so many people in video tutorials just breeze through things and you forget how to do it. So that's all you need. Developer tab, source, click XML maps, add everything from there. So if you'd like to get this workbook, go to teachexcel.com. You can download it there. And that's it for this tutorial.